Shamai GTA chums, the Fist and Neons discounted, only a million rather than one and a half million. You want to consider this one, it's a great little car, very much fun. It's an electric car based on the Porsche Taycan and it's uh, super fast at accelerating, just missed the entrance there. And this is a metallic build that I've done previously, but look at the way the lights light up at the rear there and the fist to light there. It's got a lot of nice touches to this car, it's a great car, to dr fun car to drive, fast at accelerating, super rapid for a four-door car, and um, it, it's just good fun. Oh, we've sourced our goods, so we'll sort that out in a minute. But first we're going to do a customization, and um, then we're going to take it for a little drive and show you what it's all about. So, colour-wise, we've already got done all the brakes, you know, the usual. Um, but first off, let's just change the colour, so respray. Oh, not that one. Primary colour. We're going to go for a matte colour, complete opposite to what we have there. I don't want to. I don't want to go for a grey look. I did actually want to go a matte grey actually, but it, it's already grey, so I'm going to change it to something else. Yellow. No, green. Maybe if that was bl a black secondary colour. I mean, those look all right. Olive drab. <coughs> Maybe something I could do with that. Desert tan. Desert Tan's decent. Let's pick Desert Tan just to see what we can do with it. Secondary colour, go for a classic. We've got the red. Um, just Midnight Silver looks decent, actually. We've got a blue. I'm suspecting a blue will look good, but we already have the Fister there. Orange, not quite. Maybe a mix of blue and green. I mean, it stealths the Fister a bit. Maybe a dark blue. No. No, that's not it either. Um, not quite. Ultra blue, nope. I mean, purple looks nice, but still too too garish. I think that grey, pink, or black. Graphite. Well, that's got to be the one. Graphite it is then. Um... What else have we got? V-spray. Let's go out to the start. Let's sort the bumpers out. So we've got the secondary splitter. It's like a classic look to it. We could go a little bit more Mad Max. With those little struts sticking out there. That's fine, you know. That's the carbon look, though. We can go secondary. A bit cheaper, but... Just for something different. There we go, we'll put that on. Rear diffuser. I don't think it's going to get any better than that, really, other than changing the colour of it, so we're going to leave that. Um, hood, double stripe, single stripe. Yeah, maybe we should go double stripe for a change, or zero stripe. You know, zero stripe stock looks great. I've not had that in a while. And lights, mirrors. So mirrors, we can change them. Carbon. These little pippy mirrors, but I think the stock mirrors look great. I'm not going to change those. Uh, plate, COP26, obviously. Um, crew emblem goes on the door like so. And skirts. We already have the secondary race skirts, I do like those. I think we need to stick with the secondary idea. What's that one there? Um, secondary competition. Maybe we could get away with that, it's a bit chub, but let's do it. Spoiler, we don't have one. Um, you, we probably could do with a spoiler for tra for a bit more traction. But I don't like the look of any of the spoilers. They've all ruined the look. You need a lip spoiler on this. And I'm just not willing to make that compromise. I don't think any of these look great. Um, and traction is great for this car. I think it does need more traction. So if you're going to race it, definitely put the spoiler on. Um, wheels, what are these? These are... Uh, what are these? Sports... I think the sport. No, oh, this is, those are stock rims. Oh, the stock rims are pretty decent, actually. Maybe I should rotate back to them. I'll pick the stock rims, actually, because those look great. Like if we uh, look at the wheel color, uh, tires, tire enhancement, bulletproof. Tire smoke is red. Oh, that's fine. But what I'm thinking is that the windows we're going to stick with a limo i think limo looks great but let's have a look at the respray with that secondary color because there we go no 
I thought it could in a part of the rim, but it doesn't. But those rims are excellent. So that is it. Done. Complete. Not a lot of customization to it. That's the um, the downside of... Oh, it's such a great looking car. I don't think it's a massive downside. Let's get out of here and um, we'll see what kind of performance we've got. So this is very brown. <laughs> Brown's the future. It's a new uh, red. I mean, it, this is what you want. You know, you want to buy this car because it's super fast to accelerate. It's all wheel drive. But it is very slippy. If you if you smash it out on corners, it's not all, it's not understeer. That's not. I mean, maybe it is a bit of understeer. It's hard to tell because it does understeer because of the lack of slip, and there's probably some understeer as well because of the all-wheel drive nature of this beast. So yeah, it's a tricky car to drive, but once you get used to it, it's nice. You know, if you're doing sumo as well, it's brilliant for sumo. Select this uh, for sumo because um, nobody will. No, it will defeat you. Faster accelerating, it helps people out of the ring. And that's why I'm showing you the, this car today. No, I'm showing this car today. It's, it's my dream car. And, you know, in real life, if I could afford so, an, an electric car, let alone this one. But uh, this is the one I buy. It's just a great looking car. It's a Porsche. Um, it looks like that four door Porsche, the other one. Um, the one begins with a P. I can't remember, it's the middle of the night. And it's bedtime, but this this is the car. You know, this is one that you want to buy because if you're into four-door cars that accelerate really fast and have not a lot of grip but, all, but are all-wheel drive, you can enjoy this. It's just great fun for just driving around, messing around. Look at that power slide. If that car wasn't there, that would have been awesome. Let's try the old um, the old routine of going through this bit. Do you remember this when you're delivering cars on the old? Uh, Auto shop business, not auto shop. Ah, come on, the um, exotic exports. I can't remember the word. But the import export, that's the one. Yeah, that's it. Let's uh, rock down here. Look at that for nice. Such a nice car. Brilliant. Anyway, <clears throat> 1 million. I know it's only 30% off, is it? 30 odd percent off. But it's a bargain. Um, it's a great car. Well recommended. And I like it, so hopefully you like it too. Um, other cars this week, before I wrap up this video, um, Comet, uh, the Comet uh, Safari, oh, that's on my channel, so you want to check that out. I don't know if I'm going to do a new one because I've done so many of those videos. It's an awesome off-roader, dirt track car, just brilliant. It's, it's an all-wheel drive Porsche 911, um, so for that reason you want to buy it. You might also want to consider the Everon, but maybe not as much as the Porsche, um, the 911, the, the Comet Safari. So that's what you've got this week. Anyway, if you found that useful, drop a like and a subscribe. But thank you very much for watching, and have a great day if you're playing Das GTA.